say, man. Y'all ain't know who it is. Pull up like money. Get money. We ain't never slumming. On God. What's going on, guys? I know it's been a little minute. It's your boy Justin, still here in the flesh. Um, I've been working. Certain jobs, I just wasn't in the mood to record due to the weather. It's been raining here. Um, we've been getting a lot of that rain up coast from Florida since they had the bad, you know, um, what was it, the hurricanes and whatnot like that and the flooding, the bad flooding and stuff. So we've been getting a lot of rain down here in Maryland this past week, a lot. So uh, I've been working in out throughout the rain. And certain jobs, I just wasn't in the mood to record. Um, but this one was kind of last minute for a repeat client. Um, I wanted to get it done today just in case I got anything to come up over the weekend. And I'm possibly going to be dropping off a roll off for a new client this Saturday. So I wanted to keep all that open. Like if I need to go dump a bin at the landfill real quick, then go run down and drop the bin off. So that's potential money I'm trying to line up to or setting up a roll off rental. But with that being said, I'm getting ready to go out White Plains, Maryland and I'll remove a bunch of cardboard boxes for a repeat client who's used me several times. Um, and I think like a little small plastic dresser or something like that. So um, yeah, well, and guess what? I got Ginger with me. She's getting ready to take a little ride with, with daddy. I got Ginger Bear here. Say what's up, Ginger. Got a little Ginger, or like my father Pops likes to refer to a Ginger Bear. But yeah, you guys stay tuned. I'm getting ready to take a ride. It's about almost seven o'clock now in the evening, so it's gonna get dark. So by the time I come back up the road, it's gonna be nighttime. I'm about to head home. Well, I'm about to head on down there now, so you guys stay tuned. Peace. Oh yeah, so I know guys, I will be attending Junk Con again this year. It's getting ready to come up this next week. Um, the week uh, between November 11th through the 14th. I will be attending this year's 2022 Junk Con event in Raleigh, North Carolina. So stay tuned for that. I will be recording while I'm down there. Hopefully you'll get to see me do some um, collabs, maybe on different channels or networking with other guys that you, you all follow and watch and subscribe on YouTube. So, you know, stay tuned. I'm going to try to get some great content while I'm down there, soak up the game network, and just build build a more bigger bond in, uh, within the junk removal hauling game. You feel me? And I'm going to be sporting some of these. Uh, it's actually one of my new t-shirts I just ordered, along with a new um, long sleeve. It's in a red, red t-shirt, a long red sleeve t-shirt with the business logo. I'll be sporting a tie while I'm down there. So definitely stay tuned for that. Just want to give y'all guys a head up. Look out for me next week. Junk Con, Rally, North Carolina. Let's get it, let's go. All right, hey, the time is finally here and we're super stoked here, Jere. Why is that? It's because it is finally time to open up registration for JunkCon 2022. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. This year's gonna be flat out amazing. We've got Workies as the presenting sponsor. We've got all kinds of crazy speakers that are going to be lined up. It's not just GRA people. We're bringing in outside experts, both in the junk removal field, as well as just general business experts. We're going to have between 10 to 15 or more sponsors and exhibitors at the event. This event is going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's not at some little small event space this year. We have rented out the Raleigh Convention Center in downtown Raleigh. We've got over 40,000 square feet of exhibit hall space and over six breakout classrooms. This event, it's about education, motivation, and networking. We want you here, you need to be here if you wanna blow up your junk removal business in 2022 and get really kicked off in 2023, gotta see you here. So check out in the description below, we've got early bird specials going on, limited to the first 100 people. We've also got giveaways you're eligible for when you go ahead and buy tickets. That includes actually getting your money back for a ticket. That includes actually getting your money back for the networking kickoff party. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We got a, we got a band coming in. We're gonna have hundreds of other junk removal business owners to network. The third thing, you got a chance to win the best Sawzall blades you're ever gonna find that have ever been invented that are on planet Earth. That is the Diablo Steel Demon Sawzall blades. All you got to do to be eligible for that, all you got to do to be in Raleigh, North Carolina for the conference is click that link, buy that ticket, and we're going to see you at JunkCon 2022, October 12th through 14th. Okay, JBT family, as you see, we're here, and of course it's nighttime. 
out here in White Plains, Maryland, in St. Charles County. Empty truck. It's got the dolly up there. Gonna be removing all these contents right here. It looks like a whole bunch. A lot of it is just empty cardboard and stuff. So I'm gonna take this desk and break it down too. So I'm gonna try to make quick work of this being solo. But y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna prop the camera up. So this is what we working with. No gloves, y'all, but thank you. Do. cardboard boxes right here from the garage area. Blowing out the um, old uh, carport area and stuff around where you park at and whatnot. That's what the truck looking like now. Back up to y'all a little angle. It's looking like I had to walk a lot of it down and get it to fit. But uh, pretty much good to go. All right. Guys, you see the client just closed the garage for me. I'm getting ready to tarp this, of course, because it's light, loose items. We don't need that blowing going down the highway or in the streets. So um, that's why I'm tarping this load now. Everything's nice and secure. So we good to go, y'all. We good to go. Let me get on back up the road going home now. That was easy money, man. That was definitely easy money. Um, give me one second so I can tell you to start and stop time when I finished everything so I can wrap all this up. So guys, I finished at, well, I started at 7.41 p.m. and I finished exactly at 8.21 p.m. doing everything. So everything was done within an hour or about 35, 40 minutes. So just taking my time. Uh, the client just sent me payment. So we're good to go. You know what I'm saying? That was, uh, did that job for $340. $40 job, knocked it out by myself. You know, it's cardboard, it's light. The client paid for distance. This was, you know, I'm out in White Plains, so it's about a 20 mile down back. Got my fuel, disposal fee, and the price, and for him paying for about a little over half, about three quarters of the load worth from my truck. So I gave him a break by him using me multiple times. He's a repeat client, used me several times already. And uh, it's light, it was all cardboard. So, you know, took my time, broke some of the boxes down, knocked it out. That's done. Everything's good. Coke is easy. 
It's a nice little um, complex one, man, too. Uh, looks like you gotta have to make a little decent piece of change to stay out here. So that's all I'm saying. But with that being said, guys, um, I appreciate y'all. Please continue to share my channel, like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, let a friend, let a friend of a friend, and let a family member know about the JBT gang, and you all are the JBT family. So with that being said, I love y'all as always. I continue to drop bangers, give y'all information, insight, um, answer questions and things in the comment section, and I'm going to keep dropping this good knowledge on y'all, and it's good content. With that being said, I love y'all. Peace. And little Ginger's been back here chilling the whole time, man. Ain't that right, Ginger? You been chilling like a good girl. Yeah. All right. All right, Chris, what do you got to say about that job we just did? Easy money. <laughs> All right, Chris. Easy money. Hey, wait a minute. Who in the hell are you? Hey, man, say, man, y'all already know who it is. Pull up like money. Get money. We ain't never slumming on God.